Up until February, people in Durumi, a village of 3,000 people on the outskirts of the capital Abuja, had no access to electricity. But now, everyone has power, thanks to solar energy. People like Timothy Joseph, who runs the local barbershop. He was spending $5 a day on a generator to power his tools before solar power was introduced. Now, his electricity is free. The solar I used to do my business now, before I'm using Jane, to went to buy fuel. But now I'm saving my money, that's what I'm going to use to help my family. A solar panel is attached to the roof of Timothy's shop to capture the sun's rays, which is connected to an inverter inside. That converts the sun's rays into electrical energy. The introduction of solar power here is part of a government pilot project that's providing electricity to 16 local governments. If the pilot is a success, solar power will be rolled out to all 774 local governments across Nigeria. Around 3,000 people in Durumi now have access to electricity because of the solar panels that have been installed. But that's hardly enough because around 120 million Nigerians don't have access to any electricity at all. Energy companies say solar power can solve Nigeria's electricity crisis because of the abundance of sunshine. The problem is managing and maintaining the technology. If uh, you uh, just uh, deploy the, the technology without uh, training the people how to use the, 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 the system and with, uh, without uh, any uh, maintenance, then uh, it is not uh, sustainable and uh, soon uh, people will, uh, will say, oh, it's not working. The government has been forced to invest in renewable energy, like solar energy, because it's failed to provide conventional electricity, analysts say, despite being one of the world's biggest energy producers. But in order for solar energy to work successfully, like it has for Timothy, not only will it have to invest in training people to use solar power, it will also have to invest in manufacturing the parts needed to run the technology at home. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Durumi, Nigeria.